The Boomerang, Bounty Hunter, and Green Delta crews of the 191st Assault Helicopter Company, AHC, had their share of both choices. Either way, these choices left lasting wounds. By late morning on September 30, 1968, the combat operation of the 191st AHC forged ahead like any other day. The Quiet Specialist 4, SP4, Glenn Lawfield, a striking youngster with clean-cut looks, always available with a pleasant demeanor and a warm smile, reported that morning as gunner for Boomerang 1-3, a lift ship that was a Huey configured for troop transport, or a slick for short. I'm Boomerang 1-3 Golf, correct, sir? Lawfield asked Warrant Officer 1, W-01, Dave Perez, his aircraft commander, A.C., SP-4 Andy Johnson came up from behind and smacked Lawfield on the back. If he still remembers what to do. Although Perez, Lawfield, and Johnson were Boomerang 1-3's regular assigned crew, Lawfield hadn't flown in weeks. On this day, he volunteered to substitute for someone else. The crew was together again, and Johnson and Lawfield were happy for it. Lawfield cocked his head and flashed Johnson that pleasant smile. Lawfield hailed from near Detroit, Michigan, and bunked next to his buddy Johnson. The two were barely out of high school and acted like high school buddies, inseparable and always joking around. While Lawfield and Johnson prepared for their morning's mission, they chatted about home and what they would do when they returned to the States. They both had made a pact to visit each other once they were safely back on friendly soil. Hey, Johnson, Lawfield called to his best buddy. When you come up to visit me in Detroit, I'll introduce you to the finest women in America. That is, if you still remember what to do. They both laughed. Lawfield mounted the aircraft's M60 machine guns on their pentals. He swung each to its fore and aft limit, ensuring that if needed they could traverse their full range of motion. It would be unforgiving if a weapon hung up at the wrong moment. The thought of surviving this day hung foremost in Lawfield's mind, as it did in the minds of each crew member. <laughs>